Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Josh Noel from PremiumBeat.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new volumetric light and dust overlays from RocketStock.com and how we can use these free elements within our motion graphics work. Before we begin, you can head over to rocketstock.com and download the 16 free 4K volumetric light and dust overlays. The link will be in the description and go ahead and check it out. Download it. It's absolutely free. And let's begin this tutorial. So obviously we have a few assets in here. I'm just going to go ahead and just delete them and we'll work from scratch. So here's our original composition. Basically, we just have some grunge titles in here and just a little bit of scaling going on. So not much is really happening here. But if we want to take this say to the next level, we really don't have to put a lot of work into this because we have the volumetric kit right here and it has 16 elements and there's a lot to work with. We have two dust elements and we come through here and double click a, you know, a clip in here and see what's happening and how we can use this. So let's say we want to use something like window beams. Uh, what we can do is bring this layer into our composition and automatically you'll see that all you see is the actual light. But understand this is a 4K file, so you might have to scale this down. So you can hit S on your keyboard for scale, and you can always just scale it down by a little bit. And of course, you can incorporate this with like 4K compositions or any type of video. So that's always nice to have that, and plus it gives you a lot more flexibility of scaling and how you know positioning and things like that. So that's always nice with this pack. So right off the start, we see our light, but it's basically we don't see our motion graphics work underneath. So what we need to do is we need to go to our blending mode, which you can just toggle switches and modes until you see the blending modes here. And we can go to our window beam here and we can set this to screen. And there's a, very, there's a variety of different blending modes that we can add. As you can see, we can see our uh, light beam over here kind of manipulating our, you know, our sequence here, which is nice. Um, but I prefer a little bit something different. So you can always check out add, lighten, and there's a few other ones down here, but the one that I'm gonna look at is hard light. And that's really gonna create a lot of contrast and make things a little bit more uh, moody. And I personally think that's a nice look. Of course, I go ahead and invite you guys to check out a variety of these different uh, blending modes here. So soft light gives you an interesting look, but we're gonna stick with hard light for this tutorial. So let's say if you were just experimenting with this light beam, let's say if you wanna try something else. So what you can do is make sure that your layer is selected here and select say like another uh, light beam in here, hold down alt on your keyboard and click and drag this new file on top of your original file and what's going to happen is automatically going to replace it and keep the same transform properties. So this way you can quickly experiment with what's going to work and what's not going to work. And I think that's really awesome. Uh, this very nice contrast in here. And of course you can always color correct this. So we're getting kind of a, an orange tint on this one. So what we can do is go up to effect, color correction, and say like curves. And we can go to like you know, our red channel over here and, you know, bring down this uh, red value over here and we'll see, you know, we can do a little bit more green. Of course, we can go into the green channel and maybe bring this down to make it a little bit more blue. Obviously, you can easily manipulate the color on this and make it look really nice. And I really do like that. That looks really awesome. So let's say if you want to stay with this hard light, but you don't want this much contrast because you really can't see... Uh, the rest of the title, of course, understand that this is going to be animating. So some of your title might be revealed a little bit more. So if we scrub through here, it does brighten up a little bit. But we can hit T on our keyboard for opacity, and we can lower the opacity down a little bit. And it's, uh, that's going to lower the contrast a touch. So it's always nice to keep in mind. Obviously, it's a lot less contrasted, but you can read the titles. So maybe there's like a nice fine ground in that. So maybe it'll do like an 80%. Uh, but, you know, for style purposes, I'm going to keep it 100%. Just letting you guys know that you can change the opacity of this. So... Let's go ahead and add some more elements. So we also have some dust elements that were provided in this pack for free. So we can grab like, you know, subtle dust. And as you see, we have a little bit of light beam going here and we have a swirly dust as well, which is gonna give you a ton of dust. Uh, so that's really cool. But we'll stick with the subtle dust for this. And we can drag the subtle dust underneath our light beam kit here. And basically, once again, we're gonna have to change the blending mode on this. So let's go ahead and set this to screen this time. We don't really want to do hard light for the dust. Just screen will work just fine because we got to get rid of that black background. And there'll be a little bit of dust flying around in here. And basically, in within a matter of seconds, we made the scene a lot more contrasted and a lot more moody. So let's go ahead and render this out and I'll show you guys what we have got. And after our render, this is what we have. And you see the light automatically reacts to our entire environment here. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. We can see some dust flying around and it's just beautiful how this light reacts to our composition just like this. 
So be sure to download this. And before we end the tutorial, let's take a look at how we can use this for video. So there's a lot of uses for this. Obviously, we have different blending modes. And if you have 4K footage, you can obviously use this pack. So obviously, I would suggest making sure to use these when there's a light source in your shot. So obviously, this window is a light source. So we're going to go ahead and enhance this look. I'm going to grab Subtle Dust 02 here, and we're going to bring it into our comp. And go ahead and scale this down for now. Kind of see what we're working with. And let's go to the blending mode, and maybe we'll set it to screen. And I wouldn't suggest really hard light or even soft light for video. I mean, obviously, you can see that this is kind of uh, too dark for the rest of our video. So obviously, like you know, something like screen is going to probably work best. You can also try add if you really want. Uh, but I'll say with screen. And what we can do here is we can position this light source right here on top of our window. And what we can do is rotate this by hitting R on our keyboard and just rotate this by a little bit. Say so we want to, like the light rays to kind of come in as like a angle like this. And we can just bring this up over here. And maybe what's just doing, maybe we'll scale this, make it a little bit bigger. And then we'll just reposition this all like so. And you know, what we can do is grab our pen tool at the top over here. And we can kind of like mask around the window here, make sure that everything's kind of making a little bit of sense. And you know, we can do it like this. And of course, make sure to cover up any edges in your shot. So we can kind of just do it nice and subtly like this. And we can close it up. And now we hit F on keyboard for feather and just feather it like crazy. And we come through here and you can see we have this nice light source coming through our entire shot like this. So you can go ahead and experiment with this. Of course, you can use other uh, you know, lights here and rotate them and make them work. So it's really interesting. We add some dust to this scene, a little bit of extra you know, atmosphere to it. And this is something that we can definitely look at and enhance our video footage. And after a render, this is what we have. And obviously we can see the dust here. It adds a lot more atmosphere to our shot. And it's just really interesting how we can use this for both motion graphics and video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more tutorials, please be sure to check out our blog at premiumbeat.com. And if you're in the need for royalty-free music, we have a huge library full of great music for your projects. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And this has been Joshua Noel from premiumbeat.com.